I am definitely a dictator on my photo shoots. There's no question about it. And that's why people want me to do it. You know, I'm not there to follow anyone else's instructions. I've been doing this since I was 14, motherfuckers. You could just, you just listen to me and we'll get some good work done. And is it fucking Beastie Boys or Run DMC or LL Cool J or Chuck D or, you know, or Tony Alva or anybody, you know, uh, you know, minor threat, you know, black flag, whatever. I mean, I know what I want to get and everyone works with me, you know, and I'm not like, I'm not necessarily pushing around people that I don't know, but my friends, I'm telling them, this is what we got to do to get the good picture, you know? And, uh, you know, when I was younger, you know, in the skate days, I was definitely getting pushed around, but I was getting the photos, right? I mean, I was 14, you know, um, in the punk rock days, there was already people who were in those bands knew me from skateboarder magazine, you know, they, they were skaters, so they knew. And so they had respect for me, you know, and, um, except for maybe some of the older guys, you know, in some of the bands, they didn't really know or care too much, but they could tell that I knew what the fuck I was doing. And so I did it, you know, and that's why we create the stuff that people still remember to this day. That's so, I mean, there's a lot of photographers that are kind of known for, for capturing images within like a certain genre, whether it's, you know, sports or rock and roll or whatever. Um, you know, with you, like just in the last couple minutes, you've mentioned, you know, you have like skateboarding and punk rock and, and hip hop. And I think the the connection between skateboarding and punk rock might make a little more sense. It dovetails a little, you know, better. Um, but somebody like, Tony Alva and Slick Rick, those are pretty disparate subjects. Like how have you been able to so effectively toggle between these two different or multiple worlds? That, that well, you know, connection? one happened after the other, you know, there was skateboarding, then there was punk rock, then there was hip hop. I mean, as far as, you know, how it became known to the public, you know, they, they were all kind of, but I feel like a lot of people, a lot of people, 70s. Most most photographers or a lot of artists tend to really shine for one specific thing and maybe don't aren't, don't have the skill set to to kind of adapt into a different a different genre. But that's not you've been able to to do that really effectively. I mean, ha. well, I think starting in skateboarding, you know, because of the environment that you're dealing in and the people that I was hanging out with, it was a real proving ground. I had to prove myself every day to be worthy to be there in secret spots and in particular locations, and even the fact that these guys had to come pick me up to go shoot photos and to go do stuff. I didn't have a car yet. I was too young and, you know, and things, you know, it was too far to ride my skateboard or my bike. I mean, I would take buses sometimes to get to the skate park, you know, but usually that's when I would be riding. I wouldn't fucking take camera gear on a bus. I'd go to skate myself, you know, and these are all things that I was very involved in. I mean, you know, to me, skateboarding and punk rock. Yeah. That's a more obvious connection to people, but at the time, you know, it wasn't that obvious and there was just a natural progression from skateboarding, you know, with this rebellious art form and activity, and then punk rock just had the same energy, right? And to me, you know, as hip hop started coming into the picture, it was just black kids version of the same thing that punk rock was. There was, you know, and it was just right as skateboarding was going, coming down on its first downswing, punk rock was going up. You know, a lot of the punk rock bands, you know, a lot of the punk, I mean, a lot of the uh, pro skaters started punk rock bands, right? And then right as punk rock started going down in like 83 or so, it started becoming more generic. You know, hip hop was coming up, you know, with albums and more artists and more access to it. You know, so one thing was going down, next thing was going up. And I was just, you know, as my one thing was going down, my, my eye was caught by this other subject. And so I went up with it and then, you know, and the down and then this one started coming up and I was getting bored of hardcore punk as well. You know, it became really generic and whack, you know. I don't like any of those fucking bands after like 1983. Even my favorite band, Black Flag, by 1984, they fucking, I thought they were horrible. I didn't like the music at all. And I love Black Flag, don't get me wrong. But I mean, you know, post-1984, just like it wasn't, it just was nothing to me. It wasn't interesting. It, maybe it was too arty, whatever it was. I didn't care for it, you know? And, um, you know, and again, I love them. They're my favorite band. But there was a peak period of, you know, output of stuff that was exciting and exhilarating and and help me express myself and you know so and and then of course i produced suicidal tendencies and in 1983 and that was like kind of the end for me of the whole punk rock thing it was like they were really exciting and they were really great at that moment in time but then everything started like you know getting a bit weird and people started getting more into you know more classical forms of rock music like people were becoming a lot of the punk rock bands of that era became like heavy metal bands they reverted back to what they grew up on you know yeah. you got you know COC from North Carolina, you know, and, and Suicidal Tendencies and, and, and a bunch of other bands. They just became more metal bands because you saw people like Metallica. And these bands were all coming up around 84, 85, 83, 
you know, and, um, and they obviously had, and, and even Slayer, you know, they had, you know, some punk rock roots, but they were heavy metal bands, right? And it just got a little bit boring to me. I mean, some of it was great, you know, but it was just, it just, it wasn't exciting to me and it wasn't as rebellious to me as the original, you know, stuff. And then all of a sudden hip hop came up and I was really loving the dynamic of it. And I just loved everything about it. So I just became involved in it. And when I become involved in it, I want to help it out.